Anonymous, new files reveal John McCain shipped weapons to ISIS. Newly released files released by Anonymous reveal that John McCain helped ship weapons to terrorists, including ISIS, in the Middle East. The Diliana files released by Diliana Gatanzva and Anonymous Bulgaria, expose how the U.S. State Department and McCain used Silkway Airlines to transport weapons into the hands of terrorists. This new release is highly likely to be related to the story of Mark Tori a convicted international weapons dealer out of Arizona. 24 years later, in March 2011, an international arms dealer named Mark D. Tori set up a $534 million deal to ship military weapons from Eastern Europe to rebel fighters in Libya's civil war. Within months, According to court records, federal agents swarmed over Tory's Scottsdale residence and seized his computer. He was charged with violating the U.S. Arms Export Control Act. Seemingly unrelated incidents, but with a common denominator, the student and the arms merchant are just one person a mysterious figure named Mark whose story contains all the elements of a spy novel. Be advised that this saga, full of spooks and political misdirection, twists the mind. The CIA is involved. Also Bulgarian arms manufacturers, Benghazi terrorists, Libyan rebels and U.S. In court filings, Cabu sought evidence that Clinton secretly armed the Libyan insurgents through other private brokers. He claimed Turi was a CIA contractor, working with agents, and the U.S. did in fact covertly arm the Libyan rebels using a plan remarkably similar to the one at issue here. In May 2016, the defense put together a slideshow for Justice Department lawyers, outlining reasons the case should be dismissed. The presentation stressed that Turi had pursued the Libyan transaction openly, ultimately received a permit for the Qatar shipment, and had even contacted Arizona Senator John McCain's office for support. One slide featured a March 2011 message from Turi to a McCain staffer describing his company as the single largest private supplier of weapons and ammunition into Afghanistan. Turi explained that Libyan fighters were requesting firepower, and he was seeking State Department licenses to begin delivery immediately. And we feel this option provides an avenue to limit U.S. involvement while supporting the opposition forces. Within weeks of that message being sent, McCain became a leading voice for arming Libya's anti-Qaddafi forces. As reported at the time by CNN, the senator argued that Western powers need to do more to facilitate the delivery of weapons and training for the rebels.